Hey, welcome to One Minute Tutorials. Today we're gonna do another video on cycle actions. Watch the last two if you haven't. So here I got a music project and sometimes when you have lots of software instruments, it's obviously taxing for your CPU. So what I can do is freeze my tracks by going here and go render freeze tracks and then I can render them say to mono. After it's done, I get a frozen track and it's like an audio track with a lock. The problem is that this looks a lot like an audio track so that kind of confuses me. So I have this freeze to stereo and freeze to mono tracks in front of me and when I execute the command, it will freeze the track, but it would also add an icon to the track. And then the next time it will remove the track icon and it will unfreeze tracks. So the way that looks like is I get something like this and I press my hotkey and this time it will freeze the track and it will add this icon to it. Now if I press it again, it will get rid of the icon and we're back to MIDI. So I prefer this because it gives me an indication of frozen tracks. So I'll show you the action one more time. It's freeze to stereo, set track icons for selected tracks, slot one, which is where I have my freeze icon stored. Next time it will remove the track icon and it will unfreeze the tracks. So that's it for cycle actions for now. If you have more questions, let me know. And if you have any questions regarding Reaper, Pro Tools, Logic, or any kind of audio question, let me know and I'll make you a tutorial in one day. Bye.